What is going on YouTube? Hannah back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as XRP to US dollar. We're also going to be looking at the current coin market cap as well as Dudex because there are some pretty cool remakes and revisions that are happening to Dudex's website. Um, but specifically in today's episode, I want to talk about the very interesting pattern happening in cryptocurrency. As you guys can clearly see, markets are starting to once again head lower. Did not mean to zoom in, uh, but they're starting to head lower. They're starting to dip down. We're starting to see a lot more negative red candles as we slowly creep down to retesting the moving average. And I think this is an extremely critical support as we've been discussing in videos every day for the past couple of weeks now and i would like to continue to elaborate that for all the new people that are joining in today's video uh, but otherwise if you guys are new to the channel definitely make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up this helps out the youtube ranking algorithm otherwise follow me on twitter at crypto tv or sorry crypto v official at gmail.com almost at a thousand followers on there um but let's jump into today's video all right, guys, so yesterday's episode, I made a video which discussed XRP and Bitcoin are about to surprise us. And as you can clearly see by the you know thumbnail right here, I did draw as we're getting closer and closer and closer, retesting this moving average. And there's a good chance we'll see the dump, a correction, a break to the downside. Now, I'm not too sure as to whether or not you guys are anti-bearish videos or just um, falling, you know, fairly bored or stagnant with the market being sideways, but I've noticed the differences and it's easy for me to figure out the way the markets are moving by the amount of viewers that are on videos. Very interesting technique that I do, but obviously I can figure out when people are interested in learning more about crypto and when people are not so interested and just waiting for uh, movement and they lose focus and they lose attention and they lose patience. Now, um, with that knowledge comes the fact that we're once again trading sideways, not really seeing much movement, um, seeing a lot of negative again, you know, no more than 1%, I'd say in either direction, but we are down across the board, which is an interesting thing that we do have to consider. Now, Bitcoin is definitely seeing some interesting movements yesterday. Yesterday was actually the first time in about, I'd say, one, two, three, four, five, almost six days where we've retested once again the moving average. We fell to a low of $8,900, and I do believe that we are going to continue to head lower. Now, before we continue on with that, I do want to discuss Dudex. As you guys can clearly see, Dudex made a, a pretty awesome revision to their website. Now, I don't believe anything has really changed from the general understanding ending of uh, Dudex's platform, but they did make revisions on the way the charts look. So everything for the most part is the same. They've just now changed the way the leveraging looks as you know, the higher up you go, the, the more risky things become uh, into the red zone, as you can clearly see. And then obviously, they have made, you know, buy long sell short buttons a little bit, uh, you know, more out there and in your face. So that's pretty cool, too. Uh, and I do really like that. You, they still have post onlys. They still have reduce onlys, which is great. Take profit, stop loss. That's something new that they finally added to the front page on a limit order. That's pretty awesome. Uh, but I think we're going to be paying attention more, more or less to the shorts take profits right here. Uh, we would get rid of that. We would have the stop losses and post onlys turn on. So this is how I would set up trades moving forward in, um, in 2020, specifically because I believe we are hitting a top here and I believe we are hitting this resistance and I believe believe we are not going to be seeing much more um, retesting of this top resistance because I do believe we are going to be getting rejected from the top here and going to correct lower very soon. And with that comes responsibility to prepare yourselves for the correction in price. We've seen it every time now. Every time we retest this top resistance, we break bearish. Here it happened again. Now it's happening for a third time. So I am anticipating us to tip the scale uh, for us to see the corrections and for the price to swing us down lower. Maybe not as, you know, awake and woke as we were back here, but I definitely do think we are going to be seeing a drop in price very soon. Uh, we're also starting to see this right now, so this is great. I mean, you could have bought in back here at 10.4, and the price of Bitcoin just yesterday or today was closer to $8,900, so it's definitely about a $500 drop, but we're really looking for the thousands of dollars in, in correction. That's where we can make some very big money very quickly, and I do believe we have still opportunity to, to 
make profit off of that. Ultimately, I do believe once we you know retest and get closer to about eighty five hundred dollars, anywhere below this, which could potentially be a support. Uh, once we break below that, which would be very easy to set up a you know a stop loss. Uh, putting, you know, or sorry, a post only, which means it will only fill once we trade and, you know, maybe a price of 9450 quantity of 2000. I'm also noticing the amount of available Bitcoin has disappeared from the, the homepage. That's the only interesting thing I've noticed here. Uh, but whatever it is, okay, that's pretty cool. They have a calculator for profit loss target price. If you do entry prices, you can figure out. So, you know, if we did a long and or sorry, yeah, we long the market and or sorry, let's short it. Here we go. And we enter at, I would say, 94.50. And we exited, I would say, closer to about, I do like how it floats on the page. Uh, let's say we drop all the way to this, about $9,800. We could then leave our exit price at 9,800. And let's say we did a quantity of, if we can even enter this, I don't think we can. Um, we leveraged this about 10 times, boom. I'm not sure why. Oh, there we go. Now I can enter the quantity. And I entered it about 4,000. I entered about 4,000. That means we would or should be able to profit quite uh, substantially off a drop like this. Um, I'm not really fully understanding this chart just yet because they did just add it. But theoretically, we would have a return of investment, the opposite of this. If we entered uh, at 94 and we shorted it down to, oh, that's why I did the thing wrong. I would say close to 68 not nine, 68. Here we go. There we go. Much nicer. So if we bought in an entry price at 94.50, we set up a, you know, a post only right here. Um, and we shorted it down to this level, which is very possible to happen. And we could easily capitalize off this movement. A short like this would open us a profit loss or profit of 38% and a return on investment of 389, uh, which is incredible to say so. So the calculator is great to show you guys uh, the entry levels and the prices that you're trying to position yourself and make. It's a huge, it's a huge, huge, huge possibility. But I'm really waiting for this drop. I'm waiting for these shorts to come in. Post onlys are huge. Obviously, if you want more information on my, you know, my trades, how to copy my trades, what I'm specifically doing in the market, and how I specifically use Dudex, I will have a link in the description to Dudex as well as my Patreon. Patreon is where you'll find all of my trades. It's an ever so growing community. It's a great place uh, for traders like you to join. So I highly recommend that. Uh, but otherwise, moving into the other markets, you. Know, XRP, we're seeing a lot of sideways movement now on a daily one, two, three, four, five, six. If not, you want to count that as seven, but almost a week now of just trading sideways as we get closer and closer and closer to filling the gap as discussed prior, uh, filling the gap on this downtrend. I can extend this as what anyone um, and you can see we're getting closer and closer and closer to retesting it. I think I might be able to move it up ever so slightly, maybe like that. Um, I'd say a little bit lower, but we can figure that out at another time. Honestly, just going to the weekly here and you know checking this out right now, that looks about right, actually. Uh, so I do believe we are still in the process of filling the gap with an XRP. I do think XRP has to decide very quickly as to which direction it would like to, you know, it would like to go. Either we're going to be breaking bearish below the resistance I have set right here, or we're going to break outwards, moving up to move the moving average. But this has been a massive, you know, yearly downtrend on a coin that has shown negative return on investments every year, it'd be very hard for me to believe that we're going to be popping up as much as it looks like it wants to. And as much as I want it to, it really doesn't show that it has the support and the volume and the people behind it to make movements like that happen. If anything, if it's following Bitcoin, which I have a feeling it will, um, it is going to sink the coin with it. Same thing with Ethereum trading, you know, sideways now outside of its uptrend. I think this is going to, you know, collapse in price. I think Litecoin, which is also now consolidating and trading completely sideways, filling this gap here with one, two, three, four, five, six days now of just flatlined sideways movement zero volume. These are going to end in big breakouts. And the best way to take advantage of that is on Dudex. That's why I push it so much because it's a huge profitable website. And the second we finally get a conservative buy-in, I will clearly let all of you guys know. But as a market that's literally been trading around the same price, anywhere from I'd say 9,000 to like $9,400, which is pretty much what it's, or 9,500, $500 fluctuations is so hard to make big profit off of. It's not really worth the extra risk of investing into it. 
But otherwise, that's going to wrap up today's video, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up. It helps out the YouTube algorithm. Follow me on Twitter at CryptoVOfficial. This way, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can DM me over there. Otherwise, I will see you in tomorrow's episode. Peace.